today we're going to be reviewing a bakery video that I shot as a spec project. Hey guys, my name is Tom. I'm a videographer here in the Hampshire and London area of the United Kingdom. Um, today we're going to be reviewing a spec bakery video that I just shot. Um, I want to figure out if, what went well, what didn't go well, and everything in between. We're going to be doing a deep dive. Um, basically, with the, the end goal, um, would a client be happy paying for this? And that's what we're going to figure out. Let's watch the whole video through, and then we're going to talk about it after. Okay, cool. So we've watched the whole video. Um, before I jump in and start reviewing it myself, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think went well and what didn't go well and what, what potentially was the most important thing that needed to, to change in this video to maybe just bring it up that extra level. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you're thinking. So jumping right in, the first shot we've got um, a KitchenAid bowl that's been put down. It's, it's not a wow factor. It doesn't wow me. It's maybe mediocre at best. I, I don't think this shot is very interesting. I understand it's it's the beginning. It's like we're putting down the kitchen. Everything's going to, we're going to chuck all the stuff in, but it's just not, it doesn't wow me. And I feel like that it needs to wow me. And the, it's the beginning shot. Everyone's going to see if, if this shot isn't great, maybe people are just going to click off the video. So this is something that I think needs, needs to be redone. Very, very similar to the opening shot. Um, this sourdough shot where we're, I'm okay with the framing. The framing's nice, the lighting's nice. The problem I have is with the, the sourdough. We're, we're scraping out and we don't actually see, we're just seeing it popping out and it's just coming out. And what I wanna see is I wanna see a clean drop of the sourdough into the bowl. And this is the first bit, you know, it's not been, it's not been hit by any other sourdough. Um, so potentially it didn't go well. Um, but I think if I'm being really critical, something like this um, redone would be really nice. Just, I wanna see that drop. Satisfying, right? <laughs> Looking at this shot, we've got fingernails and the fingernails have got these nice patterns on, sure. You know, it's lovely to paint your nails, I'm sure. But I don't think in a, in a baking video, we want colorful fingernails and rings. So I think something that I should have done um, looking back at this is had, had, had the baker remove all, all the um, nail varnish, all the color, remove the rings and just have plain clean hands. Um, this isn't, the biggest thing in the world, but if we're being really critical, um, this is something that definitely I should have, looking back at it, I should have I should have seen and picked up on, but it's fine. This happens um, throughout a couple times, I think. We're basically seeing the reflection of the soft box in the, ref in the reflect, you know, the, the bowl is a reflective material. It's a giant piece of glass. Um, so I think what we need to do here is instead of having the soft box pointing directly onto the object, if we turn the softbox and bounce it off of a bit of material, maybe a white bit of card or, or anything, if we bounce it, we're not going to get that harsh out, out, outline of the, the, the softbox. And that would have just gotten rid of the reflection and, and we would have had still the same amount of lighting. Um, the problem with doing that is we would need a bigger light, a much more powerful light, because if you're bouncing light off of something, 
you're gonna need a lot more light to, to when it's when it's coming back you're getting the same amount as if you were just facing it okay so this is a very um, debated topic um, should you have a cat in a in a cooking video between people I've shown this to people have said yes people have said no and in the end it was it was up to the client and the client is the baker and it is the baker's um, the baker's cats she wanted to have um, the cats in it you know at the end of the day you're, you're here to make the client happy um, and her personality I think the biggest part is her personality revolves around her cats you know she's very um, everything for her is cat centered she loves cats so to, to, to throw the cat in there for her is a big plus and it, it brings up her personality more then you've got the people saying but you've got cats and it's not sanitary I think that we're, we're, the fact that we've mixed it with the, the washing of the hands, so it's very close to showing that, you know, you are washing your hands constantly as you're making as you're making this this um, sour though. I think it's fine. Um, and I think for this video and for this client, it works. So, okay, so this is a good thing. And this is, this is, this is potentially my favorite shot. It's the transition as we pull the dough from the bowl um, it's two different shots cut together basically. First shot um, from the side and it's just picking up the dough and it's not even uh, pulling it up. I think it's just a slight pull. And I cut it with a shot where it's it's being pulled from top to bottom. So this is something to look out for when you're shooting your videos. Pre-plan what you're thinking. If, if you can see a potential, if you've only got one camera like I had and you can see potential to make it look like you've got more than two cameras on the shot and make it look much more professional, do it. Um, this is one of those, those situations and I think it has, it turned out really well and I'm really happy with this. Okay. So this, this is the problem throughout the video and it's more of a, um, overall problem than a specific problem in one shot. Um, we're having a problem with the focus here. The focus is very shallow. I think this is like an F 2.8. Um, the lens is a 50 mil 1.4, but I think I'm shooting 2.8, maybe, maybe two roughly. So we're very shallow. We're only getting a small slither of focus of what we want. Um, and I think looking back at this, it would have been much nicer on all the food shots. All the wides, fine. 1.4, 2.8, fine. I'm more than happy with that. Nice, you know, shallow focus and there's all the backgrounds blurred. That's fine. What I'm, what I have a problem with is on the, on the close-ups of the food. I want to see the whole piece of food, not just like this small strip where the focus is and i think bumping my um my f-stop to maybe like an f6 on this which would, which would require a lot more light which i didn't have at the time so i couldn't do but i would require more, a lot more light to get um f6 as exposed as nicely as this but it would have been it would have done so much for it the you would have the entire piece of bread in frame um and it, i think it, it it really would bring up the quality of this video if on the at least on the close-ups we're, we're shooting in a, in a, in a in f stop at f6 or something like that um so that's definitely something so this isn't necessarily a problem um but when i filmed this i didn't actually have a microphone the microphone i'd ordered um was in the post and it hadn't arrived yet and i just received the camera um so i'm recording with the onboard microphone and I'm, obviously i'm not using it in any of these shots it's just there to um, help me on the edit to link up the shots and link up, you know, where's the crunch? Oh, it's there. Okay. Now I can, when I do my Foley, I go back and we can record sounds. I can add it in. Um, but not having a microphone on this, or a, a decent quality microphone on this maybe is, is something I would have liked to change. I, I couldn't at the time. I didn't have a microphone. Um, but you know, if I'm being critical, I should have had a microphone. <laughs> it would have been really nice on the, on the close ups. Of, of the salt being poured, um, of the bread being poured, to, to swap out, um, I think I was using a 50 mil, um, to swap it out and, and bring in a macro lens and really get close to the hand pulling the bread and really see the salt falling from, from the bowl. I think those things really would have, would have just, oh, just I, I, I wanna jump in on these shots, you know, the salt, I want it on the, on the salt being poured. I wanna jump in and, and see the grains falling in slow motion. Um, I didn't have a macro lens at the time. I do have one now, um, but looking back, definitely that's something I would like to include in my next my next project. This is this is all shot 60p conformed to 24p, so it's 
it's basically half speed it's slow motion um and there's some shots where i do it like on the spraying of the water i've got this really nice tracking i'm doing with with the camera um and because because obviously when you're doing it at 24 uh, uh sorry when you're doing it at full speed it's a bit bumpy it's a bit it's a bit you know you've got all the movements being handheld but the fact that i slowed it down and i'm going from this and i'm going to half the speed i think there's ample opportunity to add more movement in the frame with the camera and i think this really would have done a world of good on some shots just just to bring it up an extra notch the adding in a bit more movement would have been really nice right so we're we're at the end um and this is a lovely shot i love the fact that we've got two shots we, we break open the bread and then we cut and we see the full piece of bread opening we see the, all the inside of the bread and the final product the big the big reveal um the one thing i have with this this shot is that the logo isn't in the center of the bread it's slightly off and between centering the logo in the center of the bread and then it wouldn't be in the center of the frame um and then if you wanted it in the center of the frame i would have to crop in and lose most of the the shot of the bread it wouldn't be nice nicely framed anymore so i think what we've got is the best of the situation but it would be really really nice to have the bread perfectly framed um and also the logo dead set in the middle of the bread also dead set in the middle of the frame um but that's just that's really nitpicking and I, i'm i'm really happy with the, this end shot as it is overall are we happy am i happy with the video i'm happy with how this turned out Go, going back and seeing all the mistakes i made and all the problems i think i i could, could have fixed and should have done i'm still really happy with this video i'm happy i went out there uh i filmed something with the camera you know i i made a spec project i think that's the most important part of of learning filmmaking and and improving yourself is just to go out and film stuff like this right now filming this i'm learning I, you know i'm learning to light even more so i think it's, it's a constantly improve constantly learn process uh and you really have to figure out um by by, by doing rather than just by sitting and and, and watching so I, i'm over, overall i'm really happy with this project um, do I think somebody would pay for it? I think somebody would. I think somebody would pay for this and they would be very happy with it. Um, however, there's room for improvement and I, I can see that, that where the improvement needs to be made. Uh, and that's, that's two thumbs up from me. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope by reviewing the, the project and reviewing what went wrong and what didn't go wrong and what I was happy with, um, I, I've, I feel like I've improved as, as a filmmaker and I hope you guys might have improved as well if that's what you were going for. If not, I hope you just entertain. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time. Excellent. We are.